Okay, thank you. That's okay. This one is okay. Perfect. So we're gonna start. We don't have new people over here, so we have the corresponding people that were at nine o'clock. So the assistant it's already take, right? I'm gonna start sharing the screen with you. We are gonna start working uh, checking the corresponding pages from our book. So we are gonna start first of all with the student book in page 82 that is the first page that we are gonna check so i'm gonna start sharing the screen with you so we can check the uh, check the answers and let's start so in this unit uh, as we said we are gonna start checking the corresponding uh, phrases that belongs for our relative clauses who which and that so the first one the first activity is related with the profession with vocabulary that belongs for a profession so according to our pictures we are going to check which profession belongs for each of the people the number a uh, one okay it doesn't have a number there but the example that we have over there it's a profession of inventor right so the number one, according to the pictures and the option that we have architect, artist, composer, explorer, musician, politician, scientist, and writer, we are going to start with the number one and the answer is artist. The number two, the corresponding um, word or profession that belongs is composer. The number three is politician. The number four is writer. The number five is explorer. The number six is a scientist. The number seven is an architect. And the number eight is a musician, right? These are the profession that belongs for our first activity in which we are going to uh, write the correct one. In the number two, in the exercise number two, we are going to uh, match the people with the action that they do. As example, the inventor is a person who invents something, right? So the number two, the scientist, is a person who discovered. He or she doesn't invent. She or he studies to discover something new. As nowadays, the scientists are the people who are looking for a vaccinate or medicaments or something uh, corresponding for the pandemia that we are living, right? So over here we have the number three, the artist. It could be the person who paints or draw. Let me move this one so you can check. The number four is the composer. So let me click here. The composer is the person who composed music, right? The number five, the explorer, is the person who travels or explores. The number seven, the architect, is the person who writes uh, over here. Sorry, the writer. Writer is the person who writes. It could be a poem, a novel, or something. The architect now is the person who builds or designs. The number, the number eight is a politician and is the person who negotiates or debates. And the number nine, the musician, is the person who plays music. Okay? Deal here, I think that it's okay. Do you have any question deal here about the answer? Did you have the same answer? Is it okay for you, the answers? Okay. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue. For the people who weren't here at the nine o'clock, remember to write your name here because that's the form that we take least, please. So the next exercise is the page 83, in which we have relative pronouns. So it is important, first of all, to establish which is the function of a relative pronoun. As we said in the first class, the relative pronoun led us to join two sentences in one. 
so we can avoid the repetition of a subject or an object. If we have an object, we are going to use which or that. But if we have as a subject, we are going to use who and that. Over here, it says, as example, Marie Curie was a scientist and she discovered radium. So she makes reference to Marie Curie. So instead of having two sentences, I can join them in one. So I can have over here that Marie Curie was a scientist who, or that, discovered radium. And radium is an element and it's very, it is very radioactive. We have two sentences. It makes reference to radium, so instead of having two sentences, we have one joining by the relative pronoun which or that. So it says that radium is an element which is very radio radioactive or that is very radioactive, okay? So it says read the sentences and then complete the rules with who or which. Remember who it's for person, which for things. So it says that Alexander Fleming was a scientist who discovered penicillin and penicillin is a drug which kills bacteria. So the relative pronoun refers to people. The correct relative pronoun that refers to people, as we said at 9 o'clock and we work with the exercises, is who. The relative pronoun refers to animals or things. So according to what we have worked, it says that the relative pronoun which make reference for animals or things. Okay? So in the next exercise, it says, correct, uh, choose the correct answers. And it says that Oscar Niemeyer was the architect who designed the National Museum in Brasilia who make reference for that people. It's a subject, right? Number one, it says that Charles Darwin was the man who or which described the theory of evolution. As we know, we are making make reference to what? Subject or object? What do you think in the number one? It reference to subject or object. Thank you. Subject, right? So we are going to use which elements? As we said, when we have subject, we are going to use who. Perfect. DNA is a molecule contains genetic code. So according to you, what we are going to use, DNA is a subject or object. DNA is a subject or object? Object. Perfect. It's an element. So we are going to use according to our sentences. Sorry. DNA is a molecule which contains a genetic code. An explorer is a person discovers new places. So we are going to use which element over here? Who, because it's a person, it's a subject. The TV was an invention, change the world. The TV is a, an object, right? So we are going to use which change the world. Tim Berners-Lee was the person invent the World Wide Web. If we are talking about person, we are going to use who. And number six, the internet is a network connects computer. If we are talking about the internet, it's not a person. So we are going to use which connect computers, okay? Still here, is it clear for you? Question about using who and which? I think that it's easy, no? Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to check the next exercise. The next exercise, it says that we are going to complete the definitions 
with who or which and the phrase that we have over here, we are not to create something new, okay? It's something that we are going to create. So it says, complete the definition with who or which and the phrase from the past. So it says, discover DNA is radioactive, designed the Eiffel Tower, made a Star Wars movie, and stores and plays music files. Politicians are people who debate and make laws. It's already there. George Lucas is the director who made the Star Wars movie. We have over here who because we are making reference to a subject. Uranium is an atom which is radioactive. We use which because we are talking about an element and not a subject. Crick and Watson, sorry, were the scientists who discovered the DNA. We have over here who to make reference to our subject. An MP3 player is an, an electronic device which stores and plays music. And finally, Gustav Eiffel is the man who designed the Eiffel Tower. Okay? Till here, it's okay for you. Question till here. With number three, with exercise, sorry, number two, is it okay? Do you have the same answers? Exercise number two, is it okay for you? Okay, thank you. Thank you for answering. Okay, perfect, thank you. Now let's continue with exercise number three. With exercise number three, pay attention. We have to join, as we did with the homework and as we checked the last class, we are going to join the sentences. We have two, we are going to join the two sentences in one. We can use who, which, or that. Be careful because that, as we said, is the element that we can use, sorry, that we can use in two cases. So it's better to make the reference, to make the difference between who and which, but that it can be used also in both elements, right? It's it okay if you use it. So just be careful about it. The number one, it says that Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist. She painted a lot of sale portraits. So we are making reference of Frida Kahlo as a subject, right? Because we have Frida Kahlo and we have over here she. So instead of repeating Frida Kahlo and she, we are going to join the two sentences in one. And it says that Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist who painted a lot of portraits. Also, I can use... Frida Kahlo, who was a Mexican artist, paint a lot of cell portraits. Also, we can use Frida Kahlo was a Mexican artist that painted a lot of cell portraits. We can have different answers, and that's okay if we join the two sentences with the correct relative pronoun. The next one, it says, a hard drive is a part of a computer. It stores computer file. We are talking about an element. We are not talking about a subject. So we are going to use a hard drive is a part of a computer, which stores computer file. Also, instead of having which, we can have that, and that's okay. A hard drive is a part of the computer that stores computer files. Okay, the next one, it says that Vasco de Gama was an explorer. He came from Portugal. So we are talking about the subject. We are not talking about an object. So we can use Vasco de Gama was an explorer who came from Portugal. Vasco de Gama, who was an explorer, came from Portugal too. Or Vasco de Gama was an explorer that 
came from Portugal. We have different forms to join the two sentences, but the most important is that we can identify which kind of relative pronoun we are going to use and where can we place it. Number four, it says a vacuum cleaner is a machine, it cleans the floor. So we are talking about an element, we are not talking about a subject, so we can have the uh, possible answer that a vacuum cleaner is a machine which cleans the floors. Also, a vacuum cleaner is a machine that cleans the floor. Also, a vacuum cleaner, which is a machine, cleans the floor, and that's okay. And number five, that is the dog. It beat me, it beat my brother, sorry. So, we are talking about an element, we are not talking about a person. It says that is a dog which beat my brother, also that beat my brother. Okay, till here, is it okay for you? Sorry, this is not for this class. Is it okay to join the two sentences in one? Is it easy for you? Okay, yes, I, I can guess. Okay, perfect. Okay, now we are going to work over here in the platform. It's not necessary to write. Over here it says that take turns to define one of the people or things in the box and then we are going to uh, make a sentence using which or using also who to check the corresponding sentences, okay? We are in page 83. With the exercise four, it's not necessary that you write. It's just for practice, okay? Abel, could you please write a sentence? Just wait. Write a sentence using airplane. In some minutes, joining using who or what. Abel, could you please write in some minutes? Just wait and think your sentence using airplane. Anel, could you please help me writing a sentence using cat? You have time, okay? Using cat, also using who or which according to your sentence. Camila, could you please help me in some minutes writing a sentence talking about a dog? Sitlali, could you please help me with a sentence using who or which? Using a DVD player. Claudia, could you please help me writing a sentence using an iron? Okay, that's okay. Perfect, Abel. A pickpocket. Janela, if you remember, the pickpocket is the person who takes your money from your um, clothes. Could you please, Janela, write a sentence using who or which of pickpocket? Jesus, could you please help me with the sales clerk? Jocelyn, could you please help me with a student? Melina, could you please help me with a teacher? And Miguel, could you please help me with a ma with the bundle? With the word bundle? Think about your sentence and could you please write it here? So Abel said, which is the airplane that you are going to take? Okay, perfect. Airplane, it's already used. Okay, perfect. It Lally DVD player is the object which I used some years ago to watch movie. Perfect. It Lally DVD player.
this. Okay. Jesus, your word is sales clerk. Your word is sales clerk. Sales clerk. Sorry, Jesus. Uh, Jocelyn, it says the student who is wearing the white scarf is sick. Perfect. Okay. A student, it's already. Misael Monse and Victor, you are waiting for the next class, okay? Don't worry. The teacher is someone who teaches in a school or a college, okay? Who teaches, remember to use yes. Okay, perfect, Melina. Okay, teacher, student. Yanela, it says the pickpocket is a person who knows how to act. Perfect, Yanela, that's okay. Miguel, your word is vandal. It is a card, very cute, naughty, and it likes the meal. Okay, Yanel, but remember that we need to use which or how in your sentence. It is a cat, very cute, naughty, who, maybe, sorry, which likes the milk. Just correct this sentence, Anel, please. Using which or who, in your case, is cat, so we are going to use which, because it's not a person. Remember, join two sentences in one using the relative pronouns. It is missing cat, dog, an iron. Sales clerk and vandal. The sales clerk with white skirts is a person who sends me that card. Sends. Okay. Perfect. My dad bought me. Who is a new? Okay. My dad bought me. Which is a new dog, Camila? Could you please correct your sentence? My dad bought me which is a new dog. It is a car very cute naughty and which likes the milk. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Anel. That's okay. Cut it's already. The ironing machine which broke which is broken isn't working. Okay, Claudia, the iron machine, which is broken, isn't working. Okay, an iron, perfect. Just bundle and dog, please. Just two more sentences, please. Miguel and Camila, please.
I will write the correction of Camila that it could be my dad bought me a new dog which maybe which and then you complete your sentence Camila which it's a lot which is my favorite puppy I don't know a vandal is a person who likes painting walls without permission. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Miguel. That's okay. We are going to continue. Okay, Camila is writing. Perfect, Camila. Okay, you need to continue because your classmates are waiting, right? If you want to complete your sentence, Camila, complete your sentence here and then we are going to check, okay? Because if now the time is going to get over, I'm going to close this one. That was part of the class. And let's continue with checking the workbook. So the first one, it says vocabulary achievement, complete the names of the profession. So the first one, it's a scientist. And number one, it's composer. Sorry, a workbook is page W46. W46, vocabulary. Number two, it's a writer. Number three, it's an explorer. Number four, it's an architect. Number five, it's an artist. Number six is the politician. And number seven is the musician. Okay. Number two, write the proficients. Roll and um, Dusan reached the South Pole in 1911, so he's an explorer. JK, uh, JK sorry, Rowling created the character Harry Potter, so she is a writer. Marie Curie discovered polonium and radium, so she is, she was, a scientist. Josephine Cro uh, Cochrane created a mechanical dishwasher in 1886, so she or he was an inventor. Salvador Dali painted in Spain in the 20th century, so he was an artist or painter. Antonio Vivaldi wrote the violin concertos the fourth season, so he was a composer. And Franklin Roosevelt was president of the U.S. from 1933 to 1945, so he was a politician. I'm going to check the, if you have the same answers. Yes, do you have the same answers of the first exercise? Okay, okay, okay. Camila, don't worry, you can complete your sentences, okay? I'm going to be checking if you complete the sentences, but I want to continue, right? So the next one, that was the corresponding to our grammar, relative pronouns, who, which, and that. As we did in the first class, as we work during the student book in this exercise, we are going to rewrite the sentences using which or what, sorry, or who, and also we can use that. So over here we have just two options, who or which, that's the only thing that we are going to use. But also, again, we can use that in both of the cases. Shakespeare was an English writer and he lived in the uh, 16th century, so Shakespeare was an English writer who lived in the 16th century. Guernica is a famous painting. It is in the Reina Sofia Museum in Madrid. So we are talking about an element. We are not talking about a subject. So Guernica is a famous painting which is in the Reina Sofia Museum in Madrid or maybe that is in the Reina Sofia Museum. Also, 
Wernica, that is a famous painting, is in the Reina Sofia Museum, or Wernica, uh, which is a famous painting, is in the Reina Sofia Museum in Madrid, okay? Su Man was a Chinese explorer. He traveled around Asia and Africa in the 13th century. So the possible answer will be Su Man was a Chinese explorer who traveled around Asia and Africa in the 13th century. Also, over here, we can have that, and that's the same stuff. The Ford Model T was a car. It was very popular in the 1920s. So over here it says that the Ford Model T was a car which was very popular in the 1920s. We are talking about a person. Sorry, an element. We are not talking about person, so we use which. Ernest Hemway was a writer. He came from the USA. So it says that Ernest Hemway was a writer who came from the USA. As we said... We can use Ernest Hemway, who was a writer, came from the USA, and that's okay. That's correct the sentence. Amelia Earhart was a pilot. She was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. So Amelia Earhart was a pilot who was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Or Amelia Earhart who was a pilot, was the first woman to fly. And that's okay. Okay, that's correct. Also, I can use that. And your sentence also has to be okay. Obviously, we have to follow the instruction, eh? but it was okay. My dad bought me a new car, which is very pretty. Okay, perfect, Camila. That's okay. That's good. So, till here, is it okay for you, this exercise number Three, that it's called relative pronouns, who and which. Do you have any questions till here? We almost finished today, so is it okay for you? Okay. Now let's pass to the last exercise. Thank you. In the last exercise that belongs for today is that we are going to relate the sentences with the correct um, relative pronoun that belongs. So we have soccer is a game, Uranus is an element, she's a teacher, it's a website, the Hunger Games is a movie, and a lawyer is someone. And then we have the elements defense people in a court of law, has a lot of interesting information. Millions of people around the world watch. It's a very is very heavy. Always gives homework. It's very exciting. So we are going to relate these elements just with the word that. So soccer game is a game that millions of people around the world watch. That is the option of letter C. Uranium is an element. It's very heavy. So we are going to join the sentences and it says that uranium is an element that is very heavy. She is a teacher and then always gives homework. We are going to join the two sentences just in one. So it says that she is a teacher that always gives homework. It is a website and the correct answer is the letter B. It has a lot of interesting information. So it is a website that has a lot of interesting information. The Hunger Games is a movie. So the letter F is the correct answer. That it's sorry, 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 sorry. This one is for the next class, it's not for today. This one is not for you. So the Hunger Game is a movie. As we said, it's very interesting. So the Hunger Game is a movie that is very exciting. And a lawyer is someone, defends people in a court of law. And then it says that a lawyer is someone that defends people in a court of law. Okay, that's the correct answer for this exercise. And that's the only thing that we have for our classwork. Because today we have different dynamic. So till here, is it okay for you? Questions about using who and which or that?
Question still here? Is it okay for you? Okay. 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 Now, let's check just to finish today who is the people who can go and who is the people who have to stay to take the exercise that we took at 9 o'clock. So over here, according to our exercise that we took at 9, Monse, you can go have a nice weekend. Melina, you can go have a nice weekend. Remember, on Monday you will see the corresponding uh, material to work. We have already finished with Monse, Melina, Abel, Jesus, Cantu, Diego, Victor, Anel, Jocelyn, Janela, Claudia, Misael, and Camila. You have already finished, so you can go. And remember, on Monday, we will have the material. And remember that we have two classes, okay? Have a nice weekend. And just relax. The people that I didn't mention before, could you please stay here? Las personas que no mencioné, por favor, se pueden quedar para reactivar el ejercicio. Yo una vez que ya esté listo, ahora sí se puedan retirar. See you, see you next week. See you, remember, we have two classes. Tenemos dos clases, nueve y once. See you. Ya casi terminamos, ya estamos en recta final, nos quedan más o menos cuatro sabaditos más y terminamos, si no es que menos. See you next class. See you. See you. Personas, see you. Personas que no mencioné, por favor, permítanme tantito porque necesito reactivarles el ejercicio. See you. See you next class. Va otra vez, Monse, Melina, Abel, Jesús, Diego, Víctor, Anel, Jocelyn, Janela, Claudia, Misael, and Camila. You can go, have a nice weekend. Okay, so it was pending just Citlali and Miguel, right? For the people who stays here. Déjenme, les hago la edición del examen. Que no es examen, aclaro para que no se preocupen, no es examen. Es un ejercicio en lugar del foro porque esta semana no tuvimos foro. Okay, so we can go to the part of exams. As we said, it's not an exam. I'm going to share the screen with you. It's not an exam, but it's the activity that belongs for today. Es la actividad correspondiente porque hoy no hubo foro. Nos vamos, por favor, a la parte de exámenes de la plataforma de territorio. En la parte de exámenes ya está reactivado el examen. Para que ustedes puedan presentar. Ok, que repito, no es examen, es un ejercicio porque hoy no tuvimos foro. Entonces, pues obviamente necesitamos hacer el ejercicio correspondiente. Could you please take the exercise? No se me vayan de aquí, por favor. Y una vez que ya terminen, me escriben aquí que terminaron el ejercicio. Y revisamos las actividades. Revisamos que ya esté listo, que ya esté registrado. Y ahora sí nos podemos retirar. ¿Okay? Es un ejercicio súper rápido. Realmente no les toma más de 10 minutos hacerlo.
Okay, that's okay. Sit Lely. Just could you please get back? Just to tell me that you finish and that's it. That's okay. Nada más cuando terminas, regresas y me dices que ya terminaste y listo, no pasa nada, ¿ok?